All right, when you first come in to Builder All, you're going to have your home page. Basically what you can do is customize your back office. So we'll go through that a little bit. I'll go through the different tools that are there and then we'll come back to the home and I'll demonstrate some of them. So these are the tools that you get from Pixel Perfect is a website builder, right? It's a really drag and drop easy. But on top of that, you can also layer it, which is really great. Like I know sometimes in WordPress, you can't move things around so much. Um, it has to be like in a block. So that allows you to move and layer very easily. Canvas Funnel Builder. It's a funnel that you can build from scratch or they have these pre-made templates like a tripwire. We'll go into that. Uh, Mailing Plus Autoresponder. It's an autoresponder with email sequence. So um, probably not going to go into that. It's pretty straightforward. App Creator. It's about three videos on YouTube that I could link to. It um, shows you how to do the apps, but I don't know how to do them right now, so I'll need to learn how to do it. Magazine Editor, I'll show it to you. I haven't played with this yet, but I've seen some videos. Really pretty for like an online website. If you have products, if you have services, and you want to do like nice images, whether it's before and after, or you do like travel, uh, cooking, e-commerce. I don't know much about e-commerce at all. I can tell you that it's going to be powered by Magento. So if you're familiar with an e-commerce store that uses Magento, it's going to be the exact same thing. Um, I do understand, they said that it's easier to set up because they already have like a pre-made template for Builderall where it's just kind of one click and then you can add some things. Mockup Studio is a studio design. It's kind of neat because you like, if you have an image of something and you want to put it like on an iPhone or you want to put it on a, uh, a desktop, you know, it is like, you know, people carrying it and stuff. I could show you that. Video tag is actually really something interesting. Maybe really good for MLMers, but just any business in general. There's also a video that I can show you on that. But what it allows you to do is um, throughout the video, you could like, okay, call me. And then you would put a direct link to a telephone number. Um, here's my URL for my website. And, you know, it would send a link to the website. Here is my um, telephone number, which I already did. Here's my website. Here is a landing page. Here's an email sign up. So that's really good. I'll, I'll link off a video with that as well. Let me start jotting this down because I will forget this. Video tag. Um, apps. And I'll do... Okay, so let's keep talking here. Uh, Presentation Studio, probably very similar to like a PowerPoint, I would imagine. I have not played with it because if I'm going to do anything, I'm just so used, you know, I'm on a Mac, I do notes, and I haven't played with it. Animated videos, I played a little with. Pretty neat, you know, you could do animated videos. Um, definitely a learning curve for me. I have not really played with it at all. And the same thing with um, floating videos. I guess you do them like throughout your website. That's pretty neat. I have to play with that. Browser notifications, I have played with. It's on my website, Dr. Sharon, let's say Dr. Business Builder. That's DR Business Builder. So you go on the website and you'll get a browser notification will pop up. Do you want to follow, you know, my notifications? So that's something pretty. Right now I have a guy up there in a cartoon. I just had a logo made with a girl. So I'm going to be changing that. But it's a great way to collect, you know, um, subscribers. Emails are, are great too, as you know, but you know, sometimes the open rate isn't as high, but definitely the browser notifications, people will see them if they sign up for it. Auto post. Um, pretty neat if you have like a Facebook page, right? So you want to, um, if you say something like, oh, hit click interested or type interested if you want to hear more about so and so. So then they type the word interested. And a message will go to their messenger saying, okay, Sarah, whatever the name is, here is your information. And then you would put a URL to that. So there's something like just to, to set up with an auto post. Um, that the other thing was auto post too, is that you could, um, when somebody writes something like on your Instagram, you could just automatically reply, reply back on my Instagram. I have hearts. Um, so that's, you know, whatever, if I'm not there, it's just nice if somebody posts something that it's a heart. Facebook chat box, really good. You could set this up. These could be really, really complex. You have a couple of templates to choose from when you're using, um, 
builder all and you want to get chat, chat Facebook chat box involved it allows you to again you know um, different buttons do you want my my business do you want to hear more about my business so think about what you could do could you send them off to your website yes could you send them off to like an introductory video yes could you send them off to a sales video yes could you send them off to a like um, a webinar funnel absolutely so that's really neat as far as chat boxes I personally think that everybody should have a Facebook chat box people do go on your business page and you want to be available 24 7 to give them information all right share locker I don't know how to do this I have to be honest with you I, I need to spend more time e-learning are some of the courses there's two ways to do the courses there's e-learning which when you're all done you'll get an HTML code and you can post it anywhere or there's actually websites like within Builderall that will allow you to do membership you set it up kind of like the websites more so I'll tell you why because at least the old version of e-learning was you loaded PDFs. Now I have really spelling issues, so I would be noticing, oh no, I, I did a spelling error there, and then it was on a PDF, and I have to go and change it, then re-upload the PDF. I like the having it just on regular website pages because that allows me just to change it right then and there, and images and stuff when I see it, and um, it's just a little bit easier for me. But people love the e-learning. So there's two ways to do courses, either through the e-learning platform, where you take the HTML and you put it on a website um, and again, that could all be membership protected or payment protected, uh, monthly recurring payments, however you want to do that. WhatsApp app, app, WhatsApp messaging. I don't know how to do WhatsApp. I'm going to have to work on this. Video wrapper I have used. Really neat. You do a video and then it allows you to put like a wrapper around it. And that's totally customizable, whether it's different colors. But then I really like images. Like I like cartoon figures of business things, whether it's like some money, like those dollar signs or um, iPhones. Or like if you did travel, maybe you wanted to do like airplanes and cars and uh, beaches. And you know, it's kind of something kind of neat to wrap your video with. It's definitely when you're scrolling like on Facebook or something, I get more stops there and more attention because it's wrapped and it makes it look different. It makes it stand out. It's one of those pattern disruptors. Instagram autoresponder, same thing as before. Um, you know, I, I do hearts. Webinars allows you to do webinars. You can share into a group. Does not allow you to do that many people. I think up to six, and I think even that is wonky. Personally, I would just stick with either yourself or two people to do a webinar. Okay, site box. Very similar to the Facebook chat box, right? But it's kind of neat because you could do your own site bots without having to do, um, you know, have a messenger going on on your website without having to do um, going through Facebook at all. So if Facebook has some issues or rules or you don't have to worry about that. You just do it yourself. CRM. I don't know anything about CRM. I'm going to have to spend some time learning about CRM. Uh, sales funnels, just ready to share, photo editing, which I use Canva, so I haven't really even looked into this at all, CEO report, you have a URL, you want to, if you do like business coaching or whatnot, um, digital marketing, you can take someone's CRL, give them a detailed report, click map is when someone comes on your site and I'm looking here, I'm looking there, um, it gives little dots of like where people have looked on your site, so that's pretty neat, like if you have an ad or something you wanted to change, you could put it like in the area that has like the most views. The section that has the most views, I guess. Script generator, if you're not real good at doing copy, it helps you like, you know, fill out some information about your target market and then it generates scripts for you. Social proof, you've seen this before, okay? You come on a website and you see like usually down on the left hand bar so and so from Alabama, you know, signed up, so-and-so from um, California just signed up. So it's considered social proof, so it has that on your website or landing pages, however. Roulette, I haven't done this at all. I've seen it. Um, I thought maybe it was for gaming, but so like people like to do, um, they like to gamble, right, with slot machines or whatever. So when they're on your site, you have an option of like, you know, do you want to spin the wheel, like a roulette wheel? And, um, you know, you have to sign up. Give That person would have to give you their email to do that. And then you give them something free in return, some sort of, uh, you know, digital product or whatever you want to send them, a blog post, whatever it is. Um, so that may be something worth looking into. SMS messaging. I, um, I don't know why. I don't, the bottom line is I have not tried it with Builderall at all. I know that you, you know, same thing with other companies. You have to pay some money as far as that doesn't come with the plan. You have to pay extra, right, for points or whatever. Responsive Builder, I don't know anything about Marketplace. So if you have a course and you want to put it in the Marketplace and let others promote it for you, um, they can certainly do that. 
I also know with the checkout system here on Builder All Now, once you have a course, when people go to buy your course, you have the option right then and there for them to be an affiliate for that course. Also, I hear, and I haven't seen this firsthand, but I hear that you're allowed to do multiple levels of affiliate as well. So just something to consider. Okay, so we've gone through what they have in here. Let's see if I can demonstrate some of the tools for you. We'll go to the home page and we'll let that um, you know load up. I like Builderall. It has a lot for the price. Um, definitely for somebody building a business, I think it's a great tool to have. So what else can I show you? Uh, Pixel Perfect website. Really easy. Let's just go in here for a little bit. Um, I have more, I have a Facebook group for the people that, you know, were signing up to give them more information. Let me just go under something that I don't mind if I, um, so let's see, we're going to go under a new website and create a new website so you can kind of see what's going on in some of the templates. They have templates for just about everything, all different types of industries, funnels, um, membership areas. So let's just like go down and go into a um, website quickly. Um, you can see like some of the here they have where I guess you can do like YouTube thumbnails. So say we're going to do this one. Let's just edit it quickly. Usually when you come on and you do this and you're actually serious about doing a website, you should save it right away and that'll bring you to your websites and then start editing it. Because right now it's just, um, it's not safe. So, but anyway, how you would do this, let it load up. You could, most of the websites are done in banners. So this whole thing is a banner. It has, you could change, you know, move with this all around. You can move that all around wherever you want to do it. Toot, 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 toot. Um, put the button, you can figure the button to take them to another page. You can change the whole image if you want. You right click, you can get rid of the whole thing. You can change the appearance. You can do videos here. Videos are pretty neat in the background. It definitely draws your attention. Um, what else can I tell you? Okay, don't like the limousine. You can move the limousine. You can move columns over here. So it's really easy. Um, even, and it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, I think they just thought I was going to upload. You can even go up the banners. You're not restricted at all with the banners, even though they're different sections, okay? Um, tons of different fonts to choose from. Let's take a look at the different fonts. You have the option of um, setting the fonts over here. So if you, this is where you would set the fonts, like H1 is a larger, H2, H3, whatever. Let's take a look at, and if, if you wanted to add text over here, you just add a bunch of different things here. Let me show you what else um, you're going to have to play through this at all, but the battle monitors, you can add banners, text, boxes, buttons, images, galleries, menus. Um, so you have a menu here, navigation, but you could add menus. You can do audio and video and you could do that too with an, with an HTML code. You could social buttons and contact forms and email marketing forms and animated counters, like how many people you served or whatever. Let's go into apps in a second. There's a timer here, hover elements, checkout, sales funnel, blog apps. So there's an app, like, a, you know, you could add a blog anywhere. Buttons, HTML code, webinars. So you can place your webinar right here if people wanted to just go on and see a pre-recorded webinar that you already had, e-learning course. If you wanted to do a course right here, you just plug it in. Or you put it behind a membership area in a, a separate page. It doesn't really matter. Anchor menus, Shopify, Open Table, um, lots of things here. I don't know. Um, so that's it for Pixel Perfect. There's more videos and stuff, so I don't want to just you know stay on here. But it really is easy, honestly, for even a novice, you know. And then you just save and you move things around. If you don't like things at all, if you change images, don't like it at all, boop. Just get rid of it. And remember, there's a space now, so you would just want to grab and bring everything up. Just grab it and move it up. Fine. We're going to get out of this page, okay? That's enough for the builder. Like I said, there's tons of videos all around. So we'll get rid of that. Um, let's go back to the home. What else can I show you? Um, lots of different things to do. All right, so we went to Pixel Perfect Mail and Boss. I'm not going to go into, okay? It's really just an autoresponder. Lots of different ways to do email sequences, to do list building, to do segmentation, webinars. Um, 
there is a seven day free trial. So that may be the best as far as actually seeing these things and trying these things. But you have the webinar here. You have a site bot, right? That's going to be for that email. Canvas Funnel Builder, if you want to go into here, we can go into here briefly. Um, this, I know the guys are all excited about this. It's like one of the things for the launch, how easy it is. I'm not a real big funnel builder, so I don't know. It doesn't really make like a lot of sense to me, but they'll be... Uh, so they have pre-made funnels already that you want to do like a blank, a webinar, webinar, um, upsell, ebooks, product launch, product launch, tripwire funnels, which is like this very complex thing. Um, I have videos on this too. Let me just show you that. So if you want to just do a blank thing, I'll show you. And remember, they have tons of videos as well, um, and tons of funnels as well, already pre-made if you don't want to do it this way. But I don't know. I think for the funnel builders, they seem to like this one a lot, at least I hear. All right, so we're going to add something. Look at all the stuff you have on the side here. Ask page, bridge page, confirm email, down page, landing page, membership, one-time offer, product, opt-in, do, 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 thank you, upsell, uh, webinar. So what I'm going to do is link like a very small link funnel. I'll be sending you guys a lot of links. All right, so that's it for this. It's complex, but if, you know, it's, I they say it saves you a lot of time. Magazine editor, let's do that. So say, for instance, you have a client or you have a business that deals with travel or, you know, cooking and stuff. I had said before, let's take a look um, at the different funnels. Okay, so like, say, for instance, fashion. Well, let me just show you. Do, 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 do. Um, you have the option of agency and weddings and beauty, coffee, travel, um, let's say for instance we're going to go into the hair salon one, okay, we'll preview it and allow you to open all this can be edited and stuff as far as I know, so we'll go into here and let's see, um, try that. So all of this can be well, pictures, everything can just be moved around, you know. I think if you have products and services, it's a great way to just, you know, do a nice magazine. It's kind of neat, right, because they, they allow you to, like, flip it. A little different. You could do before and afters, um, you know, great introduction. You could do, like, even an online magazine if you wanted to do, like, a monthly membership and then charge for it. It's something else you could probably do. What else? Um... Magazine editor, canvas funnel builder, e-commerce is the Magento store, mock-up studio. Um, I'll show it to you. There's, um, you've probably seen these before, but it's kind of neat. I've definitely used them in some of my ads. I think like when you're doing eBooks and stuff, it's really nice to see like a 3D image. So you have an image and you just basically can use any of these to, you know, take that image and then upload it to all these different mocks. I haven't used the video one yet. So I'll try that. But anyway, um, so that's going to be the mock-up one. Let's go home. Go to the home page and see what else there is. There is um, lots of tools, as you can see. And it's just a matter of learning. There's tons of training here. There's live training here three times a week. There's also plenty of recorded videos. I like the live training. There's one on Tuesday nights at 8 that um, is really great because it gives you ideas too. You meet people from all around the world that are on the Zoom call. And um, it's, you know, people chime in from Germany and just in different countries and what they're doing and different types of businesses. So I think it's pretty neat. Okay, we did... Facebook chat box, if you want to just go to, um, you know, the bottom line is you've seen chat boxes before. You can make this as complex as you can. They already have pre-made pre um, templates so that you can go in there and just kind of change it around a little app creator. There are a few business, a few videos that I mentioned as far as the app creator. So that's pretty neat. Animated videos. There's also um, training on that. But that's something neat if you wanted to do an animated video for your business. Presentation builder, floating videos for your website, our presentations, um, browser notifications. Kind of neat. I think that um, our 
hope I spelled it right. I think it's anything that you can possibly do, this was all created in, what's it's called, in Builder All, and then you have this thing pop up, right? So do you want, like if you give them something good here, right? And they're gonna say yes, enable the notifications. They wanna know something, you know? This I have changed, um, I'm not actually a female, so I wanna change this. I already have a logo made up. I just have to get in there and change it. But something, you know, that's gonna grab their attention, promise them something, you know, that obviously that you're going to fulfill and it'll enable a notification so that you can then send them push notifications. If you are a restaurant or something or, you know, pizza or deli or, you know, you're doing a webinar, enable it, right? They'll be able to see those information. And the same thing with creating a business app. That's kind of neat too, because then you could send them off on you know, you can send notifications as well. Auto post we spoke about, you learning other courses. I got to learn about share, share locker and what's up? Um, video wrapper. I have this. I don't know where I can easily show you show you one of these, but um, I'll link that as well after I get off the video wrapper. Lots to link to, I think. Instagram. What a responder we spoke about. Video tags. Um, let me just go in CRM. I'll show you both of these things. Let's go into video tag because I think just about any business can use this. You know, it's not just a straightforward business like a video, right? You're going to do a video. Um, add a project. I need to actually go in and play with this before I should be doing that. Yeah, I need to do like, hmm, I got to put the YouTube link and stuff like that in. So I don't know if I'll be able to show this to you. What I'm going to do is there's a, another training video on how to do this, but I think it's a great idea as far as, um, you know, basically learning how to do like, how do I say this? Interaction. You really want people to interact with you. So that's a great way to do that. And I'm going to link that. All right. I don't know anything about CRM. I'll show you the back end of it. Maybe you guys can make heads or tails out of it. I have to spend some time learning this. So what do we get on the back end? And again, there's a free, um, how do I say this? Dashboard, leads, team steps, MB workflow, filter by leads, interaction step, I don't know, guys. I don't know how to do this one. I'm sorry. I'm going to be updating this video, and I will have more information at that point as far as, you know, how to do this. I hope by the time that I'm due to give that presentation that this is, you know, all under my belt, and I'll be able to speak better about this. All right. So I think that, you know, we've covered a lot of different tools that are in here. Um, they did say that they're updating more, that they'll be adding things. and But I think for the most part, this is Builder All 3.0. And it's just a matter of, you know, working on improvements and, you know, if there were any glitches at all. So far, I've been using it. I haven't really seen anything. Um, so that's it for Builder All, okay? So give me a call if there's any problems. Also, there's a free, you know, free seven-day trial if you want to reach out for that. And I'm going to end this video. Okay, bye-bye.